think I'm going to build up a little bit of the facial structure on the jar. And this will help us know where our mouth is going to go. So I've got my tin foil here, just kind of poofing it up. Again, you could do this with paper or paper towels, however you want. But I'm going to give this guy a bit of a forehead to protrude out. Because otherwise it's hard to visualize. It's very just a round jar. So the forehead sticking out will really help. I'm not sure right now. I'm not going to put anything. Maybe I should scoot it down even further. We'll see. I don't want to get paper mache up there. I'm not going to put anything right here right now because I'm not sure if I want my jar to be functional in the end. I was thinking about paper mache something on this part so that I could take the lid on and off still. Not sure how that's going to work out yet. So I'm just making sure I'm not putting it over top of that part of my jar at the moment. And if you've got pieces sticking up, the paper mache will stick better to the tape than it will your tin foil anyways. So you don't want to waste a bunch of tape, but it's okay if you're getting pieces to stick down using your tape as long as you have enough resources. And I'm going to make a tin piece. The tin foil is kind of nice because it just keeps scrunching in, so you can mold it pretty fast and easy. And I want to look at it from both sides. It's sticking out kind of far, but I can kind of play with that later. Push this down. He's going to have a, just a bored chin. You know. And if you try something and you don't like it, the way it looks after you've added some other features, you can modify it still. It's not set in stone until, well, never you can always rip it apart, but till you start paper mache. All right, chin, eyebrow line. We'll see, he might need some cheeks too. What do you think? So. And if I'm doing two something, I want approximately the same size pieces of tin foil to start with. There we go. A little poofer cheek. And don't forget to rip yourself more tape so you're not struggling to rip pieces when you need it. something similar to my other side. Some of the smoothing out um, we're going to do with the paper mache itself. So you want to get it as smooth as possible, but it does not have to be uh, perfect there because we're going to fix that when we mache. And they're still moving, so I'm going to take them down on the inside. And now we'll find out how well our eyes fit in here. Hey, get back there. Pushing it down, make sure it's staying. All right, looking good. Haha, <laughs> he's looking cute. Maybe I'll go ahead and get his ears stuck on. He's going to like it. Technically, the top of your ear is usually somewhere around the top of your eye line, so these would be a little bit lower. But again, he's a crazy, goofy guy, so I'm going to make him a little bit high on his ears, just because right now that's what I think is looking cool. 
And here's when that extra tab piece coming into play. And that tab piece. And if you didn't remember to leave a tab piece on things like this that stick out, you can just add it with an extra piece of cardboard that sticks onto the ear and then onto the jar. Something like that. And adjust. I want the I want this ear down. Let's try that. There we go. Start to look at it from all sides. 